technical skills is not your problem. You heard me right. Technical skills is not your problem. You know what the problem is? You know what the problem is? The problem is that you don't trust yourself. You don't trust yourself because it was me. Because it was me. No matter what it is, right? Tech is difficult, right? Let's just let let's just stop the conversation about like, oh, everybody can code, or everybody can do it, or like you just have to enroll in the bootcamp, and uh, in three months, like you can, like you, you know, like you will be able to do that. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a ton of BS. Tech is a hard work, right? It's a it's absolutely amazing field. You can make a bunch of money. You can make really good career, meaningful career. But a lot of people think that they have a problem with technical skills, and technical skills is not the problem. You know why? You know why it is not the problem because technical skills can be learned. Technical skills can be learned. You know what the problem is? The problem is that you don't trust yourself. That you don't trust yourself, you don't believe in yourself. Your imposter syndrome is the problem. You may not think that you have imposter syndrome. You might think that I'm perfectly confident. I just don't think I can do this thing. But let me break it down to you. Let me break it down to you. But when you don't trust yourself, when you don't trust on the or on the very deep subconscious level. You, uh, you signal your brain and your body. So, like, ah, uh -uh, when like, uh, we can do this. Like, uh, 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 no, it's not for me. Not good enough. Not technical enough. This language is really hard. The skill is really hard. Market is down right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna suck. I, I wanna get. Uh, I, I'm gonna do what I know. I'm, and I, I, I'm gonna be comfortable. Or you are learning but you are not getting the result that you want because you don't trust yourself it was me when i got into tech i got into qa because i didn't trust myself i got into manual qa because i didn't think i would be able to uh, go after uh, complex test automation roles I got into test automation roles because I thought that like development is super is super complicated and difficult. And guess what? When I was thinking that way, every time I was trying to study software development, web development, for example, it was super difficult and confusing, and I couldn't I I couldn't make sense of it. Because I had that mindset, because it was it, it is really difficult and confusing. It's not until I start trusting myself and go out after hard things, because you can do hard things. A lot of people that I talk on the call uh, think about if my program is going to work out for them. And I say yes, and this is why. You need somebody. You need somebody to help you to uncover your potential. This is, happens a lot with my clients. A lot. One of my clients, one of my clients, uh, when we started, like, was uh, not in a good place, got laid off as a junior engineer. You know what it is like to be laid off as a junior engineer? And it, it, it is... It, it, if I had to give you worst case scenario, it is the worst case scenario because you have the skills, but you don't have the experience, but you also don't have enough skills to up level yourself really quickly with the tough market after a couple of uh, sessions, like mainly dedicated to networking and uh, profile optimization, but mainly focusing on networking. My client was able to land a job. Junior developer. Junior engineer. Right? Another my client. Another my client was chasing after like shiny objects. You know, web development on have you went. 
she had an amazing skill set as a QA engineer. Amazing skill set, like right there in there. I said, so, listen, so, like, where are you going? You have the whole, you have the whole shebang with amazing technical skills that you already have. It's, it's right there. Technical skills is not your problem. You have to start believing in yourself. And a lot of people start bailing on themselves. It's like, no, I'd rather not go with that. Oh, like, I'm not sure. Like, yeah, like, it seems like a good program, but like, oh, uh, like, you have to start believing in yourself because the more you keep telling yourself, like, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, like, I don't know if it's going to work out. It, it is not going to work out. And, and you know, like the problem, like the thing is, like, you're not saying no to a particular program or curriculum. You're saying no to yourself and your technical skills because you, you have it in you. You have it in you and you don't have to do it alone. And this is why it is it is super important to start believing in yourself now because listen it might be it might be tough times but tech is waking up tech is waking up and uh, things are starting going in a, in a better direction and when you have the belief the confidence the like the when you let me you know, let me just go woo woo on you, okay? When you energetically ready to receive good opportunities, good network, connecting with with the mentor that fits you, connecting with the program that uh, fits you, connecting and uh, starting building your network energetically that is aligned with yourself, things started to happen. And this is why it is important to start believing in yourself now. Go get them. You can do it. I'll see you in the next video.